Y'all should have left Nick alone because sis is spilling all the tea. And when I say y'all, I'm talking about Lena and King. Because Lena went live last night and was speaking for King and telling all Nick's business on live. And Nick came back with some tea of her own. Like, explain is so f***ing spoiled. Honestly, I'm a good ass baby mama. I don't give him no problems. I don't ask him for nothing. Explain, don't pay for shit. Lena don't pay for shit. It seems like the only time she can speak up is when um, some sh hit the fan and it's public it seems like every time some they get caught up with some shit or trying to leave or they get caught leaving Kaza out of something or not making Kaza a priority just because I have support and just because I have help they think that's a bad thing or whatever either way if I didn't have my mama I don't know who the be helping me with Kaza because at the end of the day explain ain't there yes I did text her and ask her to stop speaking about their school situation because she's a fucking annoying and all she do is speak and speak and step out of her place she need to learn to stay in her don't get a beat up trying to fucking save face, getting on live, spilling the tea. King and Lena making this narrative like, oh, I'm trying to rain on y'all fucking shitty ass parade because that's never the case. Y'all use Louisiana as a fucking excuse for everything. No, that's not the excuse because if so, if somebody wanted to, they would. And they don't never show up for Kaza. I, if Kaza stay in Louisiana, but guarantee every week I'm in Louisiana. Every weekend, every three, four days. I didn't went to Louisiana and stayed there for five days. I had to text plan and say, hey, what's up? Like, why you ain't hit your son up? Why you don't call him? You supposed to be so called a dad. You so fucking uh, hoopty hoo a uh, super dad. But you didn't have you when the last time you paid for a haircut and make sure this man, this cop, this boy had a haircut. Like you don't do nothing. And Lena, you overstep. Like you need to stay the f in your place before you get put in your place. King finally responded to Nick, but for some reason he posts and delete his response quick. When there's a good moment in life, it always get crossed with negative. No matter how hard I keep things in order, something will always get out of line. My engagement party was about me and my fiance and sharing our moment, not about no one else or nothing else. Now it's spent off about my child as always. Truly, it's really one side to the story and someone wanted to put their two cents in that wasn't around our child to receive the information besides last minute from her own mom. The situation was already already handled between me and her mom. It was all good on our end. I wanted to confirm with her mom because that's who have her child 24-8, not 24-8, to ask if he had a white shirt and black slacks before I bought something. I wanted him to match his sisters. It was confirmed he had clothes. Until the day Saturday of the party, his stuff was left behind. No blame to her mom, we had great understanding. I'm also confused on why not saying what type of party Kaiser was attending have to really matter. If Nick gotta buy Kaiser clothes for your event, shouldn't she know what event this is? I'm so confused on why everybody be so secretive when y'all want Nick to pay for shit. <laughs> the math ain't mathing for me. But anyway, if it was a normal party, engagement party, a cookout party, a backyard party, he just needed two simple things. That's it. It's hard in my shoes because I'm at the point I don't know how to be a doubt about this anymore. So many face-to-face -face conversations or camera me and Nick have had. I told her times, don't mention me on none of her videos, but her making a video complaining about her getting an outfit last minute and she knew nothing about it. Just for y'all to come on my side and throw rocks at me and Lena. If you was just helping, you didn't have to record a video titled Get and Kaiser ready for King engagement party. I haven't even posted my own engagement party with a title yet. You and your slick statements make me sick for real, for real. If Nick gotta pay for the outfit, at least let her get a write off. She ain't getting the money back from y'all. <laughs> YouTubers, we gotta pay the government at the end of the year. Every dime gotta speak for something. Corey posted up a video with his wife Carmen from the night he hung out with Zoe. Remember, I reported that she was trying to hide behind the camera as if they wasn't back together and she's still using her maiden name. But Corey kept calling her baby throughout the video. So whether she's trying to be honest with the public or not they are back together prime did respond to Corey saying that he would get at him and michi in real life but an internet gangster though like saying what you gonna do to somebody on the internet or saying tough shit on the internet is crazy like i've yet to meet a real kid do shit like that like I, you know what i'm saying like i ain't we ain't on that like i ain't on no internet shit and i ain't going back and forth for no talking internet shit that's sitting next to a well no you know what I'm saying? That's and that's nothing against like nothing against him either. Nothing against the other dude that was sitting next to Brody, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cool, that's you. But like what? Had your this was cranking your wife and Bro already crushed. We cranked her. Vlogs, shows, reactions, money, uh, like we not down 21 scum. <laughs> so I understand why, where the frustration comes from. You feel me? We not down. We up. So that's that. I'm not reacting to no video. I ain't talk. I ain't internet beef with nobody. I ain't finna. You ain't finna ever catch me just talking crazy on no none of that. Kyson had react to Ruby Rose Drewski making it official. I'm so happy.
He said, no, come back. I'm so happy for this man. Wait, what the f Juski, what the f you f You a little freak. <laughs> little freaky dicky ass nigga. Everything good till she go good till she go through that for <gasps> Yeah, he's whipped. I'm liking this. No glaze. I'm liking this dress. Oh my god, this dress is crazy. What am my mother? This is this is garden of time. In my previous video, I reported that Leslie had her twin boys. Well, over the weekend, she was able to finally take them home. Congratulations. Let me say a louder for the people in the back that ain't got their volume part turned up. Turn your volume up on the side right now. The people that follow their dreams. Those are the people that get rich. Follow your dreams, bro. If you ain't in school for you, boy, drop out. What are you doing? You're wasting money and time, buddy. It's an 18 year old right now with a million dollars. Goofy. That just made me want to go on a tangent, bro. It's really people out here in school for their parents, bro. I never, ever understood that. Never got that. So what are you doing? when you? That's what I'm saying, Poseidon. That shit don't make no sense, do it? Exactly. Even he mad. Exactly. The damn cat even saying the same thing, bro. How the hell are you in school for your parents? What, are you giving them the money that you're going to make from your salary or something? See, my parents ain't never told me. I had to go to college for them. I chose to go to college for myself because I wanted to. And I dropped out because I wanted to. And look how I turned out. Magic for DDG. This ain't nothing but motivation. Stop doing stuff for other people. Do it for yourself. It's another thing, bro. A lot of y'all ain't even following y'all full potential and doing what y'all could do because y'all worried about leaving y'all friends. Bro, lead them. Man, if they ain't with if they ain't with the, the, the hustle, then they gotta get it off the muscle. You feel me? They just blocking your blessings like Bill Russell. And if they got a problem with them, tell them they can tussle. You gotta slam dunk your dreams like Russell. You feel me? Westbrook. You wanna become a lord and you gotta understand what the test took. Or how to test look. Don't forget I finally released my bundle to all of my secrets that made me a full-time content creator for over eight years. I've done blogging, moot bangs, blogs, live reactions, and I've learned a lot throughout my eight-year journey. And I'm spilling all the tea in my new bundle. Don't miss out on getting that bag friend and learning from somebody that lived off of social media money for eight years.